All right. Good evening, everyone. Hello. That's right, folks. It's Tuesday again. It's a Tuesday night. Not that the sun will let you believe that. <laughs> ah, uh, uh, July. Yep. Good old uh, fourth July. First of July weekend fun. Fourth of July weekend fun. Mm-hmm. It, it's a uh, long weekend either way. Mm -hmm. It's enjoyable. And now we're out of beer. Yep. So, so we have to go buy more some more beer. That happens. We'll mm. we'll manage. For mind the hairballs. You leave bigger ones in the shower. <laughs> uh. The issues of long hair. Uh -huh. uh, we want beer on discount after we cleared out all of our stock <laughs> last time. <laughs> oh, I cleared out all of the stock of beer. It was worth it. I stand by it. No, it was a good decision all around. Let's see what's uh, going on in the news. Oh, boy. Monster Girl friend Chirari, Chirari becomes the best-selling video game of all time. Did we do all this? This sounds new. All right. Uh, the waifu revolution from the 2010s is no longer a laughing matter. What start? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Strong start. Uh, what started as a trend has since gone out of control since the standardization of VR technologies, which allows people to live full-time inside their computers. As a result of this craze, it shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend franchise has become a commercial juggernaut, with millions of copies shipped in Glitch City alone. Worldwide, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies since its launch in March, making it a record holder that won't quick quit. Is the waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Do you want that game? What? What are you doing it? Anime games are stupid, new ones at least. <laughs> now, hold on. Is, whatever is Whatever came out five years ago is better than what you got today. It's just a moving goalpost. Yep. Can take one when, of the Quincy. Yep. Yeah. When, when when things were better in your day and due to the incredibly short attention spans of fandom, your day is like five years ago. Uh, let's see. Quincy, I certainly like fried chicken by Lana Smithy. During our weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed his unusual taste for a certain rare food: fried chicken. I know it sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but I. Just can't deny my love for it. When you taste a chicken breast like the ones that Kenta make, you just can't go back, Quincy declared to the augmented eye. In other news, Quincy also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although he later said it was, quote, in jest, unquote. I wouldn't ban instant food, since that's what people in this city city like the most, and even though I hate it, no, I wouldn't ban it. Is it that rare? <laughs> Pretty sure the ones sold in the ones sold are fried pigeons. A while, a while back, I was watching the show 86, mm -hmm. and the moment in the first episode where it's like, oh, this is a messed up dystopia is when they reveal that, like, I think it was like, e like eggs are a rare, like, delicacy, because they're that hard to come by, and it's like, ah, that's really fucked up. <laughs> but much the same way, despite all the terrors, it's like, you can't get fried chicken anymore? Ooh. Just synthetic, synthetic eggs and milk. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, just like, oh boy. Can't raise uh, livestock anywhere? Yep. Soccer popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises by Lonnie Smithy. Once known as the king of sports, soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self. After the corruption scandals of the last World Cup, fans have begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. The latest GSF tournament pulled in nearly 20 million viewers from Glitch City alone. As of this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to, as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport, said a fan outside the GSF arena. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. 
See, this is how you know this was written by people who do not live in the United States. Soccer, the king of sports. Asterix, except in the U.S. Yeah. Uh, this, this is a little too close to not being parody. I mean, this... This, this is a little I mean, too close to Onion being correct. I mean, as far, as far as my social group grows, that's just true. It's like, I know way more people who watch wrestling than watch soccer. And all and all the soccer uh, foundations are corrupt as shit. Yeah, that too. <laughs> it's like, wow! I thought, wow! And I thought American sports institutions were bad. Jeez. Mm-hmm. It was off to uh, off to work for us. December twenty first. Yeah. Uh, I forget who's doing what. Uh, I'll take Jill. I think. All right. Good evening. Ah, Jill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. Like I'm never the first person here and there's always a uh, someone here to respond to me and interact with the player. This is this is why she hasn't been given a copy of the key yet. She hasn't needed one. Uh, if it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Aw, uh, Rad Shiva. I like Rad Shiva, though. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with a uh, thousand grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? All right. Invite any client you're acquaint clients you're acquainted with. The more, the merrier. Uh, this is sounding dangerously like a dating sim. I know. You didn't bring your cat today. The raid stopped. They they found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Huh. Thoughtful ellipsis. <laughs> Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Now hold on. <laughs> I had something in here twice, and I think it was Base of Titans. Uh but Cometrine Dream in there twice. One that I'm missing. Underground club, sure. Sure. Time, Time to mix drinks and inside. change lives. <laughs> Everyone, excited. welcome to Valhall. Uh, um. Ellipses. Mm. I want a. Fluffy dream. G. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um, I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. Now, see, I've been fooled by that one before. <laughs> I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for that for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yes, I have money. Gee... Girl asks for a fluffy dream, dream, but she's crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol that easily. Uh, I'm assuming sweet and over... Bubbly drinks. No? No, it was under sour, I think. Really? Sour, okay. This, and this is one of our uh, optional alcohol-free drinks. Yeah, we don't we don't serve we don't serve alcohol to minors. Yeah, we can't we can't give her a double though, just to sure. There we go. Yeah, I suppose nice that would look that look would be sour. Maybe like sour yeah. apple. Yeah, yeah, that's a yeah sour girly. That feels like the direction it's going in. Hey, Andrew. How's it going? Hello, Andrew. Okay, we'll we'll answer the hot af- anime uh, take after you tell us our sound is good. Yeah, let us know. We need we need ears on the ground, man. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. Don't sound so excited. Hmm. <laughs> 
So, why? Who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Christmas Mega Past? Doc? Oh, right. I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy. Yeah. Which employee did you leave without a mega Christmas, Gil? Jill, please. It, it would be Gillian that's haunted. <laughs> it, would, it would have been funny if he reacted to that. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would be glad. To, I will gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I already got a drink. A non-alcoholic one. You didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh... So if you would please leave. <laughs> I can't leave, not after trying so hard to even get here. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. Abby Normal. <laughs> How do you? How did you? How did you know my name? I saw your ID. <laughs> oh, this is just tra children trying to get drinks. Ah, you poor. Uh, I feel. I feel bad for this child. They've not thought this through. Mm -mm. Anyways, let's uh, pause for a moment and give Andrew his hot ammo take. Oh yeah. Uh, hot takes. What do you got? Uh, so I think I've got something from a discussion I was having last night. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't need uh, plot, character, theme, or any of that shit. Physics, logic to have a good movie. It You can have none of that and just have a grand old time uh, with some fun action scenes. Yes, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah. It, it, it's... Uh, very like a John Wick or Jackie Chan style of just set him up with a premise and go. Yep. Any I, I, point a camera at them, let him, ha let him go. I, I know. I know. Rumble in the Bronx technically has a story, but I, I, I don't care. You get you get that wonderful scene where Jackie Chan hurls himself through the swinging door in a shopping cart, and that's beautiful. Uh, and also that bit where he calls all the all the gangsters trash. <laughs> As he movie. tosses them into the trash. I no, I just, he just he just has a moment where he just like he like shit wags his finger at them and goes like, "You are all trash." Mm. Uh, and my my girlfriend had me make that a, a reaction gift for her because it Good. was too perfect. <laughs> Good. I, I was going to say if if you didn't make that into a gift, I it's I I think I'm more surprised I had seen it around more prior to that. It's like how is this not everywhere? This is perfect. Um, do I have a hot anime take? Um. Uh. I am looking. I am. I. I am. You know what? I'm excited that the new Trigun anime does not necessarily look like it's going to be one of those let's just do the manga thing because while I do appreciate some of those as being well made, I do think they tend to encourage a lot of uh, demands of strict adaptational fidelity that I think are ultimately very limiting because they're about uh, mindlessly recreating a pre-existing artistic piece mm. rather than adapting something for a medium Ooh. in ways that make sense for the medium. That is a good hot take, and I, right. I tend to agree. Uh, yeah, but no, let's look, look. The Chainsaw Man anime is coming out. I'm not expecting a lot of deviation, just given how much money is riding on that. But like, if they go off in a whole different direction, as long as it's good, I'm I'm fine with that. Like, do your own thing, man. Yeah, like my thing with this uh, Trigun anime, for example, is I j I just need my good pacifist love and peace love and Vash the Stampede. Yeah, if if it if it feels like Trigun, that's what's important. Yeah. And the, and the and the details can be a lot more malleable beyond that, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I mean, it would be great if there's a uh, tune there that I can just jam air guitar to. 
Well, that I, that I is important to the DNA of the original Trigun. I, I, I agree. I agree to be very judgmental about the music. As far as I'm concerned, Trigun sounds a very specific way. Yeah. Don't mess with it. Yeah. But we'll we'll see how it goes. I am yep. excited for that. As am I. Yeah. Uh, it could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. <laughs> uh, this child has not thought this through at all. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. No, it's because I'm not a teenager anymore. <laughs> You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Don't try to psychoanalyze the bartender. Ah, uh, she's like that all the time. Shut up. <sighs> Sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain... Incident from last week. Incident? Well, don't change the subject. Young lady, why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. You child. <laughs> uh, I just... Just want to be more wild, you know? Wild. My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. Maybe I'll just go to a drugstore then and get rubbing alcohol. And just <laughs> sp spread that around. <laughs> That'd work. That, that's the sensible answer. Do you remind me of, the, of this client I had a while ago? She, um, passed out in the street and my boss, boss brought her here. Your attitude reminds me of how she got once drunk. Huh? Yeah, bitter about the pressure exerted on her. Hers was a work hers was workplace pressure, but yours but you still remind me of her. So what of it? So before you think anything else, calm down. I don't want you to go through what she went through. I'm calm. So, let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're going to disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, becoming a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trained to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Eh? What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy. Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Jill. Jill? All right. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy! Hello, little girl! Oh, shit. 
G and J. How are you doing? It's Rad Sheba. I'm glad we- they made it sound like you wouldn't be in today. <laughs> You're late. Missed me, Jay? It's better than uh, Jules. <laughs> You're too early. <laughs> ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course, I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Hmm. He, he was getting house trained that whole time. Because how the hell would I know you, you'd you bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. <laughs> sir, yes, sir! Roll. Sir, yes, sir! Yeah. The, the uh, picture isn't changing, so I can only assume that he's just saying, sir, yes, sir. That is the funnier option. Paw. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of course. He's only shouting, sir, yes, sir. You're not doing anything else. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no brain. Why? Game. Your synchronization rate 100%. This is bad. <laughs> I never said I did a perfect job. <laughs> I love this game. It keeps happening. Get out of my head. <laughs> hmm? Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, not my office. <laughs> Rad Sheba, we were over this. You have to do that on the newspaper. Not in the office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Oh my god, it's, uh, Canada. Yeah, I was gonna ask, what do you think this reference is? And it's very apparent right away. You might even be wearing a, uh, Akira shirt. Hmm. Y yes Bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. Uh. <laughs> hmm? That's a good face. <laughs> Oh, um, promise me you'll buy something afterwards. The do it's that door over there. <laughs> I mean, when you need to go, you need to go. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Who the hell are you? The other one. Brad Sheep is using that one. Sheesh. <laughs> I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending! It was just a motorcycle. It was just a motorcycle. They're the four riders, then! Those are horsemen, and that already stopped. Thanks. Oh, look at, look at his sweet smile. Yeah. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh, no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looks like I meant, I meant to inconvenience you. Nah, I'll order something. I need a rest anyways. I know it would, like, be very different from the Arsenal, but I'm kind of expecting, like, the big toothy grins from it's... the Akira movie. Mm. It's got a very distinct style, that art, uh, that movie. Very much so. What can I get you? A piano woman would be nice. Sorry, I didn't hear you. Ahem. I'll have a Mars Blast. Uh, sure. Mars Blast for the biker guy. I think he said piano woman first, though. Uh, so which do you think he uh, actually wanted? I think he actually wants a piano woman, but he feels embarrassed to admit it in public. Mm. He, he is a tough biker guy. Who exactly. Took out, who took out a uh, psychically powered delinquent? Yep. Child? And, and fought a clown gang. That did happen in that movie. P-Woman. Hmm. Welcome back, uh, Spirit of Frey. Good to see you. Oh, hello. I think we're Welcome on uh, day nine now, as of mm. today. Here. Mm-hmm. Mm. You look happy. Yeah, you look happy. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was 
Sorry. Distracted. <laughs> Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mr. Call me Mario. And yes, it's mine. All right, day nine, the streamer. That is a pun. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. <laughs> okay, here comes Bronson. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine and mine only. I am... Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We'll advertise the bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh shady? Oh, he sounds hurt. I'll be back before too long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Or not that you're not cute, and it's not like I'm into girls either. I see. <laughs> well, he's not embarrassed about that, at least. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel, I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? Now I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds about right. Oh... Uh... Sweet boy. Slinging that za. That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm a from a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Oh, no, he's an Amazon driver. It's the worst future. It really is. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. I feel you there. I, For the holiday, I went up to a uh, friend's place in uh, Mississauga and ended up in Scarborough. Oh. Which are both uh, boroughs in the greater Toronto area that are reachable by public transit. Are, are they at least relatively close to each other, or did you go pretty far afield? Uh, so I, th I think I, it was an hour-long detour. There ah. it is, I think. Uh, so basically, I'd end up taking one. I mistook one light rail for the other. Ah. And you can kind of get to one of there. It, it was a uh, good stroke look that like the bus uh, fare tap system was broken on the one I got on. So I wasn't charged for that extra fare. But yeah. Yeah. I, I was still the first one to arrive, so. What does that tell you? Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station antenna is a good reference. Er, I mean, what do I care? Fix that yourself, bitch. <laughs> he can't do it. Uh, he's too sweet. He's just, he's a, he's a nice kid. Do you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast would be nice. Moon blast? Yeah, gut punch. Yeah, that one. Uh huh. Again, he asked for a gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for a moon blast first. Moon blast being the sweet, girly, and happy uh, mm -hmm. of the planet blast drinks. Oh, on the rocks and blended. Yeah. And Frey's mentioning uh, Mario and Gil fanfiction exists. <laughs> that, that is I'm, good news. I'm not, I'm not ter terribly surprised to learn that. That checks out. You have so many male characters in this that aren't uh, jackasses. <laughs> Here. Heh, <laughs> this is good. It's a moon blast. Ellipses. I... 
No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up the tough guy image? It isn't working? Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So, why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. If we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. Where did we hear that before? <laughs> I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. <laughs> like you really don't enjoy it. Like you'd think Akira's a bit overrated. <laughs> not a lie. Who says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Yeah, but other bikers. That sounds that sounded like something someone in high school would say. Uh just a bunch of immature teens tonight. It's just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pre pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Give me a fringe weaver. Sure. He says as he reaches for the one with the most alcohol. <laughs> Glad I found that uh, the trick to take one ingredient out because that saves a lot of time. Here. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. Finally ordering uh, what he really wants. Say, that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Not as far as I know. Do you think he... So you're saying there's Mario and Gil fanfic, huh? <laughs> He. No, never mind. I said nothing. Yeah. yeah, I did have to look up uh, Koi Katsu after uh, you mentioned that last week, Frey, or whenever you were here last. Yeah. So it is just like 3D model stuff. And I had seen some of that before for like uh, VTuber models being made. I. It's not a skill I have, so good on you. Thank you for everything. Yep. No, you didn't come in here to uh, share any examples. Please come again. Ah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Eh? What? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay. Yeah. Go. Uh, we're on page three already. Stacking stuff up. Billy doesn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Well, good for Billy. He found some soap. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. As they would be. I had to tell them to go to the Red Shiva bar to get their attention. Oh. <laughs> mm. 
Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. Aww. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see ah, a dog. <laughs> Sp spoiled your entrance there, did he, Dorothy? <laughs> Sup, little girl, what are you doing in a bar? Oh, he watched us earlier, and now he's trying to pull the same <laughs> shit. <laughs> uh, honey, some help here. Hey, dog, I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. <laughs> wow, you're really bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. Yeah. When manga I creators are making a bunch of uh, characters every week, they just pull random traits out of a hat and give them to, give them to them. Everyone needs a gimmick. Yep. I just happen to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Thank gods. Yeah, they just they still have that one on file, though, like the old um, uh, banana flavor. <laughs> what will you have? Well, it's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding Jane. <laughs> oh, Dorothy. Coming right thumb up. Bleeding Jane for Dorothy in honor of her time of the month. One, two, three, and all blended. Success. Yeah. Here. That time of the month. Do little do little menstruate? Yes. Oil. Oh, so you were fucking with us. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Then what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding Jane. Hey. hey. So how's business? You'd be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Ah. Although it's also the season with the most competition. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilum. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one, too. I'm positive there's fan art of that. Don't Absolute. you worry, Don't you worry Dothy. <laughs> but maybe it's better that way. And get you that Santa outfit one way or the other. Yep. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show a lot of skin. That scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Uh, yeah. No, if you're walking around with a uh, Santa dress lady, that's probably yeah. turning more heads. Yeah, draw, draws attention to itself, doesn't it? Hell, somebody invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Nice. Good deal. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. And the first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh, I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. How uh, open-minded of you. <laughs> For females, I'm not so strict, though. 
Uh huh. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Linguistics has changed a little bit since this game came out. <laughs> Alright. Blue, blue fairy for her thirst. Yeah. I don't think uh, thirsty was in the lexicon back then anyways. How old is this game? I always think of it as being recent, but it occurs to me it may not actually be as recent as uh, I think it it's is. It's at least five years old. Okay, it is a little it is a little older than I think it is then. Yeah. Uh, that'll be fine. So kind of soft. All aged and mixed blue fairy. Just has sex university, Jesus. Here. Oh, same as Jill's birthday, that makes sense. Honey, you know how they say that size doesn't matter. So I've heard. It doesn't, but in this case, it does. Oh, I'm. that was supposed to be a big blue fairy. Oops. <laughs> oh, no. We have Oops, to. Disney. You know, earlier today, there was a make a Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underaged, but here I am. <laughs> serving drinks to Dorothy. Mm. Who is not underage. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Santa prank. Uh, take a sip. <sighs> the what? Heh, <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick them all. Wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap, and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Jesus Christ, Dorothy. <laughs> sometimes I try to cover it up. The Lilim wants to be human. Or sometimes the Santa is trying to cover it up. Mm. It's then when I say, no, I want you. Mm. <laughs> mm. After that, I say, well, at the very least, I want a dildo. Big pink one or a very bumpy cucumber. <laughs> Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift him. Yeah. That one's a bit Ooh. more of a walk, but just as bad. Oh, boy. I once thought about screaming, Help! I'm being molested! Oh, no. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. I'm, I'm glad there are limits to this, at least. It's only funny if he's embarrassed, but otherwise fine. Otherwise, it's just mean. Right, exactly. How considerate. <laughs> Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. <laughs> Dorothy. Dorothy. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want! Says here right in my contract. In my terms <laughs> of service. <laughs> Numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, then tell me your age first. 27. No fair. You can get fidgety or anything like that. I think I played this game when I was around 27, so it was good timing. Um, hmm. Anytime I run into uh, main characters that are exactly my age, it ends up being exactly my shit. Yeah, that'll do it. Vicious age. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 27, 24. Okay, good. We're we're of age here. How long since you've been deployed? About 
that's a secret I'll keep with me. Right, she didn't say how long she's been operational. Mm -hmm. no. Just a, just how, just her apparent age and mental state. Ooh. Fair enough. I expect you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? It's how dangerous everything's been lately. Every year gets, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse; it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Oh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. All right. Cobalt velvet. It's a bit like champagne served in a cup and it has a bit of co coal left. I was expecting it to be like, oh, it turns your tongue blue. Yeah. Seems like the purpose of that kind of drink. All on the rocks and mixed. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. I, I didn't see the uh, flavor on it, but it may have been a um, like burning sensation. <laughs> hey, honey, have you ever seen a Mega Santa gangbang? I, I did see the facial expression change before I read that text box. <laughs> uh, I, I guess I did give her a uh, loaded up blue fairy. A mega... Eh? That mega Santa that became a regular of mine, he once invited like eight of his friends. Gangbangs are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. No one wants to take the lead. It's all very awkward. You need a project manager to get anything done. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Oh, no, that would be gay. <laughs> well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of other guys. Eight guys in the end, only two got into it while the others left. Even my regular left. Hmm. It was your idea, dumb. <laughs> I'll regret asking this, but were all the other guys? Yep, they were Mega Santas that worked with him. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see, though. Yeah, no. It's. I'm trying to... What comparison am I about to make here? The Commune? The 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 uh, collective, the, the, the communal experience. Yeah, as opposed to the the uh, one directional, putting all the pressure on one person to perform. Mm -hmm. Well, either remembering that got me turned on, or the alcohol is kicking in. Uh huh. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. Have fun at work. Nope. That girl has seen some shit. I'll say. Now I can't see Mega Santas with the same eyes. Christmas is ruined. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. Oh yeah, that is a, I, th that is a thing we said. I didn't find any cats. <laughs> Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> this part timer doesn't do a lot of work, does he? And that, that is the uh, the ideal. Uh, huh? Huh? Another kid? Ellipses. Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh, gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. 
Yeah, that's these. Uh, How would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. I like how they're having this conversation, <clears throat> ignoring the kid staring at them. Yep. True. Ellipses. Um. Excuse me, Miss. Ellipses. This is no place for kids. You sh So you should. Ellipses. Um. Gil, she's staring too much, and she's not saying anything. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. <clears throat> I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? <clears throat> Let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. Hmm. Ellipses. Ellipses back. <laughs> Ellipses off. Jill. What? How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. A beer for Gil. <clears throat> Haven't I seen that girl before? Wait, wasn't this this ghost, that ghost from the beginning of the game? Uh, no, that's Anna. Alright. And, uh, Anna's the girl with one arm. Right, she and does look fam- In the sailor right. uniform. Yeah, she does look familiar, though, but I can't place why. One sec, one. Oh, one take sec. your time. Yeah, serving myself a drink of water. Good. Hydrate that self. Here. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh, right. Yeah. There's a ball of carmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Surprise. Y yes? Are you happy? What an ominous statement. What an ominous question to be asked. Very much so. The, the first thing. Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life, with your choices? Why are you judging me, child? Step off! Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um... Lipsy's right back. Lipsy's off. Hmm. Hey, Jill. What? Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? I should do that in, like, the uh, King of the Hill voice, actually. <laughs> it is just the blah. Maybe. What do you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did. Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week. So I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyway. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved my ass many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? <laughs> that only happened once and the old lady started it. <laughs> You never know when you need some caltrips. Yeah. Right. Pocket sand. Even. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays? 
or physical money when you get down to it. For the reason arcades still exist. Nostalgia. Oh, this, this is an alternate future. <laughs> or, maybe. Ellipses. Hey, miss. Uh, it, yeah? Do you recognize me? Recognize you. I want to say I do, but... Uh... Sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? Sister, sorry, but I don't have any sis... Sister? Not even a sister-in-law? Hold on. No way. Gabby? Is that really you? God, I'm so sorry, but you've just grown up so much since I saw you last. How long has it been? Three years. R right. So you know her? Yeah, she's actually my girl... My ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admissions tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. So... That puts her, what, 8th grade? Skip a year? So she's like 12? Something like that, yeah. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you wanted to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple of years to think about that. Well, don't feel pressured about that. Maybe maybe you'll need a sabbatical year? So, so how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um... She was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with someone that's not a cat? Calling me surprised. Hey, don't talk shit about my baby. <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? She's dead. Mmm. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think I heard right. <sighs> My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Come on, Gab Gabby. Stop fooling around. Nope, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. <laughs> My sister has left to suffer a disease alone while you were all merry here mixing drinks and chatting. And changing lives. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Was your right to be merry worth the life of my sister? Oh, she's getting all teary eyed. Like yep. the full <clears throat> glasses thing here. Why are you lashing it at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise that fight played a key role in killing her. Well, that's just speculation. You can't expect... And all that because you wanted freedom? What kind of freedom is so enticing that makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Was this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! I didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I'm even heard she was sick. Stunned into silence, are you? And do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think all of that was easy for me? I was scared. I'm still scared. But I needed to grab hold of my life. But it had nothing to do with your sister. I... I loved her. Do you think I've, that fight didn't hurt me too? I... Idiot. Baka. 
Ah! Uh, I... I... I'll get a friendly face. <laughs> I'll make sure that girl gets to wherever she wants to go safely. Meanwhile, Chief... I know. Come on, Jill, let's take you home. Mm. Yeah, so the uh, plot showed up all of a sudden. Yep. Home sweet home. Mm. Hey, Jill, you want to grab something to eat? Mm. I'm not hungry. Want me to come in? Keep you company? I I'm fine. I'm just... <laughs> I just need to be alone for a bit. Jill. You can tell me what you're feeling. It's okay. It's not okay. It's... It's not. Mm. Come here, Jill. Come here. In for a hug. It, it, it's just... I feel like part of me is crumbling right now. My, my old girlfriend was sick and I didn't know anything about it. Her sister came to deliver the news and she held nothing but animosity for me. And not only that, but I had lashed out at her too. History fucking repeats itself. Maybe if I hadn't cowered back there and apologized. Maybe if I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I can't cry on command, but I'm trying. <laughs> Thanks, boss. I really needed this. You want me to stay with you today? Thanks, but I actually need some time for myself. Some me time to put my thoughts in order. Yeah, I understand. But don't do anything funny, you hear me? If any weird thoughts come to you or you feel too anxious, call me. Yeah. Hey, Four, she's in your care, you hear? Meow. Remember to call me. I'll call you later to check on you nonetheless. Mm. <sighs> Remember, I'm here for you anytime. <sighs> Pretty good payout, uh, at least. Yeah. <clears throat> Didn't count as a mistake for missing the. Uh, well, I think I think you did give her. A, I think maybe you did give her a big one. We we gave her the right jink, but not the right size, so it, yeah. it ended up okay. Yeah. Jill is feeling down, but she really liked that cutesy game poster she saw. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted and sad. <laughs> uh, game poster? Cute. Okay, good. It literally keeps a game poster. Yeah, uh, it's fun. Um, was there anything else in here in, I was thinking about? Vintage game. Like, we've got enough for the uh, rent now, so yeah. we can spend a little bit more. Jill smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. Like yeah. that. Yeah, so that... Well, it's about an hour. I think we can do an iron night. Now count underwear. <laughs> no, I think we saw that one. AM Township 64. Don't think we saw this one. No. Hype. Literally no games. Is anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No. 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 I, I didn't even wait for uh, to read that. I was like, no. 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 I'm going to marry a monster girl. I just want actual gameplay next time. Why would you want gameplay in a Sukabon game? <laughs> womp womp. IDK, all I see is pretty girls and nothing to back it up. Any info on the hardware? It's probably going to be yet another underpowered piece of shit. It's not like the competition is any better. Nah, I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash of late. As yeah. of late. Yeah, remember when games were actually good and devs made and devs made them with love and care? Me neither. This is closed. <laughs> Gonna buy one? Depends on the library. What have we got back here? So we have our cutesy game poster. Yep. 
Not sure if that's a reference to anything. It was too small for me to make out. No, nothing. Some someone has pink hair, so that could be anything. No, someone looks to not be wearing any clothing. Mm -hmm. And I think this is our uh, game computer now, and our stacks oh, of beer. Yep. We're filling out the uh, little apartment. Yep. Makase re releasing a EKDV update. Is this the greatest thing to ever grace planet Earth? I literally can't stop touching myself. Such a high quality release. Why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation from the civilian models. This thing's off. I'd be all over this normally, but I can't seem to get excited over this. Your shit taste is showing. Nah, I just think I'm kind of dis... dis... I'm kind of tired of the same thing over and over. Donovan? That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Yeah, I think it's that. I better stop buying so many weapons already. I'll never find pleasure in them again. Any word on the camo stuff for civilian weaponry? They said they were going to announce more stuff on a later date. I like porn, you guys. <laughs> Invisible guns? I think they'll use it for cute patterns. So, I do remember seeing... Uh, this code in this mock I think last week mm -hmm. uh, I think in reference to uh, an augmented eye story that sounds right yeah. search that up it's a uh, adult video that's right it's the title of an adult video that's all you need to know 66 American Kids Returns challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match Ever since John Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's had nothing but negative response from fans. Ah, oh, he's a heel. Ah. Challenger after challenger has tried to take the title away from the imposing giant, but nearly all of them were injured in the process. Ooh. Six Six American Kid was surprised the GSF world, but surprised the GFS world by returning to action almost four months earlier than expected, and then challenging Giant Yusuke to a title match on January fourth at the Super Silver Thunderdome. This January, I'll become the champion GSF deserves, 66 American Kid proclaimed during a promotion in front of 25,000 fans in Kokoro Hall. I wish I knew more about wrestling. Sounds ex exciting. That does sound like a good uh, wrestling promotion. Hmm. New act proposes increased surveillance by Lana Smithy. We have nanomachines tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, Prime Minister Quincy is now proposing a new law that will allow the government to, quote, shut down, unquote, anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Many people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided if we had more control over the masses. Quincy said during a parliament meeting, we had the technology to simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict, and it's common sense to use it at this point. When asked about the possible negative consequences, Quincy refused to make any further comments. Uh, what what consequences? Surely there's surely there I would be no I, consequences. I, I cannot see any potential downsides or any way that this could be possibly be abused. More nano machines? It's all smokescreen to divert attention. Kira Mickey Encore Concert by La Smithy. Fans of the famous cyber idol Kiramiki are in for a huge party, all thanks to an announcement of a second concert in the Glitch City Silver Thunderdome Superdome. Hold on. That, that's that's a different order of words. And I, and I didn't say it right either time. I'm so excited to extend my visit, declared the cyber idol during an interview. Tickets are now up for sale and expected to disappear in a matter of minutes, so be quick and secure the best spots. You can get tickets from the following retailers. Ticket Lord and Idle Hell. I, that sounds about right. I cannot click on either of these links. Disappointing. Uh, yeah, we're all good there. And we've done our shopping. Off to work. If you want to switch off for guilt. Good evening. Are you okay? I feel like shit. You sure should have. You sure you should have come then. You were in, you were all in the right to stay at home. I have to come. I threw away everything I had in my life to be here. 
People I loved were pushed aside just so I could enjoy my freedom of being here. My stupid, stupid freedom. So I will come here until I die, even after the bar closes, until my hair falls out. You're the one that looks like she's about to fall apart. Your eyes are red and swollen. Yeah, well, your hair is hairy. Yes, it is. Uh, who is that dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh, yeah, I was too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Why don't you go home, Jill? You're in no position to deal with people right now. Go home, rest a bit. My girlfriend, my ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. My decision to assert my freedom and grab hold of my life led me to this. A bartender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. So I won't fucking leave. I threw away all that away to be here, so here I will stay. This is what I wanted. This is why I left all that behind. This is why. See, you're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, leave her be. I'd rather her be here than alone in her apartment. How are you feeling, Jill? I feel like a shitting piece of shit. I'm the lowest of any possible life form you might find. Nanobes look down on me in disgust, knowing they're far superior. You're spirited, that's good. <laughs> Where's the mutt? Working with Sira. At Sira. I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. And here, she's repounded, surrounded by people that care about her. That's a lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as four might be, he's still just a cat. Then why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? Part of I won't leave, didn't you understand? I didn't leave everyone behind to just sit and do nothing. Fine, fine. What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Jillian Pliskin. Who? Hey, Jill. What? I'll be in my office, but if you need a break or a hug, just tell me. Hmm. Break or hug. Yeah, the, the, the brief thought of uh, a hug from the boss helps lift your spirits just ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. Oh, you already put on music. Oopsies. This is, uh, is, is, oh, is going to be an interesting day. The Hall of Heroes keeps shining, brimming with the... Do I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh, hell no. We meet again, bartender. Ah. Virgilio, what can I get you? Today, the luminous pollution on the streets makes it seem almost like a starry sky. And when I think about stars, I think about celebrities. Celebrities, fishy, and my favorite fish is the octopus. So I want something octopus-like. Aren't you going to do that weird bartending thing? I'm waiting for you to order like a decent human being. I'm not following. Spell out your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. Fine then, I want a sparkle star. S-P-A-R-R Cool star. Ellipses. Mumble sparkle star for the mumble. Razzle. Razzle. Stupid Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting him extra drunk? Maybe a little bit, yeah. Alright. Let's just, uh... We're, <laughs> we're taking our anger out on Virgilio a little bit here. I mean, it's so easy to do. He's such a twerp. See? Was it that hard? Have you tried to spell under pressure? 
You look angry, spelling bartender. Have you thought of a time of... Are you having that time of the month or something? Oh, boy. No, I'm just filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate, and... On second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. Wouldn't know. <laughs> Me neither. I, I get those too, you know? Periods. You do? Yes, last month I finally got over my renaissance and moved into my enlightenment. I was wondering where this dumb joke was going. Uh, I can, I can feel my will to live eroding. And here I was thinking you'd get to say something serious for once. Are you implying I'm not serious? Ellipses. Glaring holes through me will do nothing. I am glare immune. <sighs> But if you allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice. Whatever, it's not like it'll help. You shouldn't kick yourself so much. If you keep keep it up, any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will only leave you with a hole that will never heal. So please take measures against it instead of sulking so much. I'll be damned, that actually sounded half sensible. And here I was thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. I am also those things. <laughs> hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Really? What story? I would rather not tell. Figures. You want anything else? Have you ever seen how the... Ellipses. A, a bad touch. Ellipses. Bad touch, whatever. Oh, she's a, she's in a terrible mood. She's not even laughing at the bad touch. Uh huh. I'm gonna make the same comment. For hmm. you know, it's a bad day. Yeah, I guess this is the one. Ellipses. Maybe he's right, and I shouldn't be so hard on myself. <laughs> Even though I deserve every second of it. If only I had apologized earlier. I might not be feeling this way right now. If only I... If if only I... I can't remember what held me, held, held me from apologizing all these years. Um, bartender, you're making lots of faces there. Pride... Fear? What kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore? I can't even fucking remember what kept me from fixing this whole situation. Can I at least find solace in whatever feeling it was that brought me to this situation? Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. It, is she okay? No, but just no. leave her be for now. <laughs> You can take this one then. Hey, Jill. Hey. Hey, it. Eh? Oh, thank God, a normal person. Wow, a mummy. <laughs> no, no, I don't have kids. <laughs> You're both uh. idiots. <laughs> well, uh. Virgilia works in a museum. He he knows mummies. <laughs> Still nor more normal than this twat. How are you feeling, say? My bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing nicely. Thank God I'm not someone that scars easily. Uh, I mean, wounds don't leave me marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. No, oh. say we know we we. Uh, what happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. You look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. Oh, sorry. That's fine. You ellipses. You're the one who looks like it now, though. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. That's a good way to uh, describe it, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? 
Please forgive me if I suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. Do you want something? My tongue's not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. And you? Such a change in tone. I, I'm fine, I don't need anything. Let's make a beer. Mm hmm. Three, four, and all mixed. Nice to have a friendly face. Mm hmm. Just, you know, nice calming presence. Oh, yeah. Here. Yay, let's see if there are any differences from the canned ones. And? This one tastes less watered down. So, did something happen to you? I'm fine. Nothing's happened to me. People who are fine don't act like that. Oh, I get it. You're in those days. When it's that time of the month, I get a bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. No? <sighs> I'm dealing with the loss of someone, okay? Oh! Sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. Maybe I shouldn't have come today, after all. Mm. Um... No, I... Hmm... Maybe. Ugh. Keep trying, say. Are you alright? I'm trying to find something to say. Making a joke would be tasteless, and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding cheap. I'm at a loss as to what to do here. Sorry. Heh. <laughs> Want to hear something weird? It was exactly like that when Stella came here on Monday talking about you. Oh? Well, ladies, I'm leaving. <laughs> He's just been kind of a third wheel for a bit there. Virgilio. Yeah? You were just sitting with a Valkyrie. Really? Splendid. This will make a good entry in my poems blog. feel bad about the way I treated him today. Alright, I'll pivot to Salem. Yeah. If not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Like Stella when she first came? Yeah, no! I mean... They're both jerks. It's... <laughs> you could have given him a free beer or something and apologized. Yeah, I just keep messing things up with people. But you know, he seemed familiar. Familiar? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it though. I just feel like I've seen him somewhere. Ah, well, it must it must just be that he looks like someone thing, someone from an ad or something. So, what brings you here? I wanted to come with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Why here? To be with you, of course. Ellipses. That reminds me, how did Stella react when you arrived? She slapped me real hard. It hurt. The memory still hurt. Still stings. <laughs> she said, that's for making me worried and not listening to me. And then she became happy. Huh. Can I ask whose loss you are dealing with? You shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. Oh, okay. You really want to know, huh? I can't help it. I don't like seeing people sad. I just need to know context, not details. Uh, someone to whom I said some mean things to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Yeah, sorry. Knowing I can't do anything helps me calm down a bit. I, 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 I mean, it's not that I wouldn't help, I just... Calm down, I get it. I can't contain myself when I see people in need. But I've learned that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. 
Thank God I learned that. Otherwise, I would have gone insane ages ago. You're a good person, say. Mm. Nah, I'm just an annoying girl. Still, if there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I have broken bones, but that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. You could always order another drink. Yes, baby needs money. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that. Let's do that. Give me something cold, please. All right. Let's, get Let's some... give Say something with ice. She really gets, like, the blue fairy... No, that's on. Probably something just uh, girly. I type. We'll do. Fluffy dream. Nope. There, there's a correct answer. I feel like. Bitter girly and soft. Yeah, that'll work. It needs to be a whole lot of alcohol for say. This a nice bright sunshine cloud. Ah, oh, it's got a little leaf in it. Oh. Here. It's pretty cold outside though. Yeah, but I don't like hot or warm drinks. They make Ah, me... she's a Bo ah, she's a Bostonian. <laughs> <laughs> they make me feel <laughs> nauseous. <laughs> Be the dead, dead middle of fucking winter. There's a blizzard happening outside, but you gotta go get your iced coffee at Dunkin'. That's how the world works. Oh, iced coffee, even. Yeah, uh, it, it's it's. Speaking of someone who does that exactly, it's silly. It's silly, but here we are. Anyways, uh, you know what cheers? You know what cheers me <laughs> up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps too. Do you sing? I mean, did you take singing lessons or something? Nope. People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually. But they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. You play the harmonica? I need something to do with... Uh, uh, I need something to do some breathing exercises with. And a uh, harmonica is a lot smaller than a tuba. <laughs> I guess if you practice enough, you become decent. That's something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I didn't look like the musical type. I used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really? Can you still play? The violin's at my mom's house, so I don't have it with me. But I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? I don't know. One day I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Just like me and cooking. That, and almost burning my place down. When's Stella coming? Now that you mention it, she's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm gonna go take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Sure. All right, it is 9.30. Do we want to continue? Yeah, I think we could go until 10. Okay. And I think we got, uh, I think we'll finish the day up before then. Okay. Stella and Say make me a bit jealous. That's going good. Back. Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself, make no mistake. But I guess I cooled down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one, though. I can't stay mad when I see her. Exactly. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside and, uh, to look for that Stella girl or something. The, the way, way you... Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only thing hindering me is a broken arm. and I, I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. <sighs> Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more and you will have lost the motor function in your arm. Welcome. Ah, oh, hello, Jill. All right. Yeah, yeah, I think you can actually take the spell because it's going to be two people. Yeah, that works. What's this about protecting who? Yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial body bodyguard. I'm not really fit for such duties right now. 
My father insists I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal, deal, deal with anyways. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. So I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. Not gonna elaborate on that one, game? Okay. We offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. And yet, he can still run faster than me with it. True. Do you want something? I'm fine right now. A brantini. A big one. I'm in a good mood. One big brantini. For, uh, big, Stella. Big, big brantini. Which means loading up on the, uh... Adelheid? Adelheid, yep. One, two, all aged and mixed. Here. After all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever, ever try to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? Sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. Gotta go for a midnight Denny's run. Absolutely. I know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times. She just started showing up more and more, and that was it. Ahem, my father told me that when I was five. I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one they happened to be at. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. Embarrassed oh. <laughs> ellipses. <laughs> Good blush. There we go. So you two have known each other for most of your lives? I've known her longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. An, an item? What kind of item? <laughs> that kind of item, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed. Wait, they're not an item? Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a fair question. A couple, say. Oh, a couple of uh, peas in a pod. I, <laughs> an, an item. A couple of real good friends. Yeah. A couple of gal pals. Oh, yeah, I get it now. It's fine, because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple at Stella's High School. Three years in a row... Damn. So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind to eat raw Bronson roots every morning. You know he's tough. Brrr. But around me, he was different. I had memories of him barking orders to my dad, only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Oh. Hey, Joe, what's this, um, bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I'll have one, too. On it. Two bloom lights for the girls. Now, 
if I remember correctly, there's actually technically a uh, trick that we can do here. Because uh, uh -huh. we need to serve... At some point, we need to serve still the uh, Flaming Mo. Uh-huh. Uh, and supposedly, we can serve it when uh, there's two drinks on the table. I see. So we can make it and then just say... Uh, uh, gotcha. Reset it, basically. Alright. And then... So, uh, either this will work and it won't break any... Uh, flawless service bonus. Mm -hmm. All age on the rocks and mixed. Uh, but we don't actually have to uh, hand it over. We can just... We can exploit uh, game uh, uh, glitches. Fancy. It's AGDQ, everyone. I'm learning all about um, game glitches. Here. I don't know, I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who's... Ah, uh, dimming the light. Hmm... <laughs> <laughs> Huh, I guess she had too much before I came. Right. Well, that and that, she must be still be tired. From the whole bank thing? Yeah, do you want to take over Stella at this yeah, point? Yeah, she told me about everything that happened in there. I'm trying to think, uh, what voice was I going to try with her? Uh, to be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. I, I guess I should be thankful for the nail machine treatment she went through as the as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Basically, it helps with the healing process after PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. So that's what. So that's why police force needs steel. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, the ba that bank was hell, and Porce was still trying to, is still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution for those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know. Among all the people using using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. How? When I saw Say wounded asking for help, part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. I felt truly useful to her for the first time. How sad is that? Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Who knows, maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like that once in a while. Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good, I should be leaving actually. Come, say. Let's just get hamburgers and go home. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. Feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim. Welcome. I was, I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. What can I get you? I'll have a sunshine cloud, please. Sure. Sunshine cloud for Kim. I wasn't expecting to see Kim again. Yeah. What's up with, uh, what's up with her? We'll find out. All on the rocks. Blended. There we are. Here. Thanks. 
So, how's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic, chauvinistic horse blower and told him I quit. Why did you do that? Uh, well, after I got drunk and overslept, I missed some assignments. My supervisor yelled at me for being late. I got the mandatory bullying. So at some point, I just kind of snapped and said I didn't have to put up with the put up with that. So I quit. Ah, I see. Uh, sorry again about that, by the way. Oh, don't worry. I should be the one apologizing. Lashing out like that. Th lashing out like that the next day and all. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? I guess you'll always have the second. I guess you'll always have second thoughts, even in, even if you do what you want. You'll still think, what if? Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning. I even almost. What I'm saying is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. I feel free. Free. Free, she says. It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like I can, like I can now finally find something I care about. I won't return to the augmented eye, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. What about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you going to do, and all that? But uh, I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something? Something big and bubbly, huh? Uh, bubbly drink. What about a beer? Big beer. I feel like Donovan's not coming back, so here. Probably you can not. Have, you can have his usual. <laughs> hmm. If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill things inside you. I gotta ask, though, how did you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought of. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled on journalism. Oof. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Uh, too much pressure from my family. It's a really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you, I just went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. But suddenly all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. And my life went to hell for that fucking breather. Uh, um, give me a, or, uh, something. Something? Sorry, I have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. Uh, she asked for something, literally. It's like that time I was at a, uh, party and the girl mixing was mixing drinks and I just said, surprise me. <laughs> and, we, and, and we had, uh, Bacardi 151 at that party. Oh, boy. I'm... Still not sure what I got, but, uh... Yeah, I don't think it needs to be anything special, so yeah, just the, uh, bald set and will do. Rum. Delicious. Here. Thanks. Hmm. I feel like I've asked something I shouldn't have. Don't fret about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you going to do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I like, work wherever I want. I know it's not the way that... I know it's not that way and it won't be that easy, but I feel like a lot more confident than I was when I was out of high school. 
I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Thanks. I really need the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. Hmm. <sighs> you should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Ah, Dorothy. Sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you. For me? Why are you hugging me? I paid her to do that. All night long. <laughs> Whoopsies. Come again? To put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there will be any water in it. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. If you let you be alone for one night, you're not getting another. It's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human or er, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. Roshiku Onigashimasu. Mm -hmm. Treat yourself. Buy something nice for you and Dorothy. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's just quickly save and then I think we're out of here. Yeah. Good you know, progress. Yeah. In here for 10 o'clock. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Good progress for tonight. We're, uh, the plot's hit and we're just starting to process our emotions. It is, it is good in the long term, even if it is sucky in the short term. <laughs> yeah. It's the, uh, the bartender gang therapy now. <laughs> went, went, went through a couple stages of grief there during, throughout the day. Yep. So, it's good. Yeah, it's working. Can you see why I like this game so much? Yeah. I mean, aside from the aside from whatever you uh, say, hey, this should happen, and then it does. Exactly. Who was that alone? A very good friend. Yeah, we we missed it, Dorothy. She's a good egg. Oh uh, yeah. All right. What are we doing tonight, though? Uh, where are we sending people? We have either Kyle Phillips or Sonic Mega live at the moment. Uh, what else do we got, potentially? I'm gonna look around a little bit more. And what have we got going on the rest of the uh, week here? Uh, That's a good question. Don't think we have a new episode of the podcast this week. Uh, don't think Megan and Jet have new stream plans otherwise. Uh, so it might be uh, the weekend we see you next. Mm -hmm. Where I might finally get to uh, open my copy of I, The Somnium Files 2. Ooh, fancy. So, I, I've kept it uh, boxed up so we can uh, show that off on camera. Ah, yes, fancy. And have that fun. I've got the uh, collector's edition, of course, for PS4. Mm -hmm. And then, as soon as I've done that, I will finish that game. I will go in. <laughs> I will go into a hole and come back out when I'm done. Makes sense. All right. Yeah, I, th I think uh, we'll send you guys over to Kyle Phillips then. Yeah. Thanks for coming, everyone tonight. It's been fun. Thanks. Thanks, people. We appreciate it. We'll see you around. Good night. Good night.